Hey, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Sorry for the late start on the stream. Uh, we're here in downtown Berkeley. We've just been ordered by the police to move, or we'll lose our stuff. We've got approximately 25 Berkeley police officers. Uh, we're down here at the corner of Milvia and Austin Way. And now we've got DPW, or DPW, whatever, who's blocking my view, of course. Where they came just a few minutes ago at approximately 4.30. Where we've been just ordered by the police to either move or get arrested and lose all your stuff. So far, as far as I know, Mike Zint has been arrested. For failure to comply. <coughs> so far, there's been no violence. Sir, can we offer you some services, shelters? No, thank you. No. Places to get a no. meal? Nope. I already know all that stuff. It's all online. Oh, you've already got all yes, this? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. If we have a pamphlet if you need one, okay? Uh, well, we're out here fighting for more homeless services because there's very little. Almost nothing. So, you can talk all you want and hand us all that little piece of paper. It don't mean jack. It's got a lot of information on it. I know. I already saw it online. Okay. All right. Might have I'm more, sir, I'm more than aware about what's going on, all right? That's why I'm out here. I actually have a home. So, anyway, 25 to 30, uh, maybe, let's give them a break, 15 cops out here. That's pretty much all Berkeley can muster. Out here in the morning, chasing homeless people away. Uh, we were perfectly peaceful. Uh, there's been no violence as of yet this morning. Uh, which known these Berkeley police, uh, if you turn your back on them, they will jump you. That's happened before. So, at any rate, we're down here at Milvia and Austin Way. See to the old post office, which we fought so hard to preserve and protect. Anyway, when you see this tape here, there's a perimeter that the police have established from the outside. We had about, uh, I guess, 20 people in our camp. So you can see my stuff here. Yeah, just calm down, everybody. Let's not yell at each other. Mother is trying to take over and claim my tent. Oh, okay. All right. And you can see Ronald Reagan got his stuff over here. Right. You know, we got cops out here. Oh, would you like information for the homeless, blah, blah, blah. Well, sad fact of the matter is, is there, there is no services for the homeless here in Berkeley. There's a few isolated a places. Folks, here's a right. with yeah, there you go. Other kinds of meals, shelters, whatever else you might want. Right. Anybody who would like Thank it, you, please. but no thank you. We already know. Grab another copy. Thank you. You can just lie right here. I'm not going anywhere. You already get a copy of the yes, I have. So we got, they're dragging people's shit away. Hey, how'd they get a hold of that tent? Who, who let them take that away? I told them not to take it away. So they did anyway, right? All right, we got one Kelty tent. I told you not to take it away. We want to keep uh, some of that stuff. They took it away without our permission. Human beings need to sleep in that tent. Human beings need that for shelter. We can give it to someone else. I know you're right. listening to me. You know that tent's going to cost the city about $1,000 by the time we're through. Do you believe we do in have God? lawyers. And we will sue. A little incident down at Fairview, that's going to cost you at least a quarter of a million dollars, at least. Conservatively. 
This little raid this morning is going to cost you lots of bucks. You don't want to spend money on homeless services here in the city of Berkeley? We will make you pay. One way or another. Even if it's out here harassing us. Mark my words on that one, brother. Oh, I got to sit down. So did they get any of your stuff? Um, they didn't get mine. I saved at least what I could of Mr. Lee's. Okay. Um, tent, I couldn't really save it without it being completely damaged. Alright. Um, and the tarp he had, as I said, the same thing. I would have had his, it would have been damaged. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been able to dry it out much, so. Alright, did they arrest, um, Mr. Lee? No, he <coughs> was not there. Okay, how about? They did arrest Father Zint. Okay, so they arrested Mike Zint? Yeah. All right. Um, Anybody else that you know about? Uh, okay. Nobody right. else was up out of there. Um, I know CIA is still over there. As far as I know, CIA and uh, Brett are still over there. Okay. But uh, they were cleaning up. All righty, thanks. Oh, no worries. All right. Well, this I ain't gonna work. Save anything else. Hey, I hear you. Hey, do me a favor. Yeah. I want to continue to live stream. Could you get this shit off my wheelchair? I gotta, yeah. I gotta sit in my chair and function. So anyway, uh, Actually, I'm thanks. Yeah. I got the rest of it. Okay. Is that your hat? Yeah, yeah. Right? We're going to be here for a while, yes. Okay. I'm not Here's, going anywhere. If Mr. Lee comes and wonders what happened to his stuff, then uh, at least his length is safe. Alright. And that's all I could say. So they're out here with power hoses already, uh, power spray in the sidewalk. Uh, we have been ordered by Berkeley police to move over here. So basically, uh, we're going to be playing a shell game with the police for the next few days. And, uh, you know, if they think they're going to come here and take our camp apart, well, they got another thing coming because we're here for the duration. And uh, this live streamer can personally say that uh, we're not giving up. At all. Uh, we did attend, uh, uh, thank you officer for uh, blocking everything. That's another yeah, pamphlet with some services guys. If right. you need services, we've got plenty of information. If you got services, we've got plenty of copies of the pamphlet if anybody would like. Out. Services for your dog, places to find meals. Services for my dog? Yes, Her dog is taken care of. I'm going to Animal take it resources? to the Korean shop. I'm going to have the Korean my cook dog it. Only eat it. Like anyway, we did have one tent that was stolen <laughs> by DPW. Uh, by and large, uh, we were able to get most of our possessions out this time. I guess we are lucky that it's not raining. Uh, forecast was for rain. But we're out here at Milvia and Austin Way. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're coming at you from Berkeley, California. And they just took another tent, a few more tarps that we can see over there.
so our possessions are being stolen by the police department. Uh, Mike Zint is under arrest. Hey, you know what guys are being charged with if they don't move? Anybody? What are people being charged with if they don't move? Right. And then if they're not going along with, uh, they're actively taking their tent down, they're flying with the off-city property, uh, then they're going to get arrested off-city property. What was that? Could you speak up? Okay. All right. You got a number for that? 148. 148. Okay, thank you. Uh, people out here are visibly upset. Oh, hi. Hey, Bart, this is the rotation station. I am rolling a blunt. And yes, we are going to smoke that bitch right here. Okay? All right. Oh, <laughs> hi. Anyway, uh, we had about 15 to 20 Berkeley police officers that showed up at uh, bright and early this morning at 4 o'clock ordering but people to leave. Early. Actually, it's, it's dark bright. and early. It's dark and early as fuck. This is an unholy hour. I have a car for anybody stopped in the car. Uh, they're taking it across the street and dumping it in a pile to make sure it's in our legs. They're taking the pile and dumping it in those lovely Yeah, they're loading yeah. stuff into the, the back of those dump trucks. Uh, the you know, they tell you that you can go pick it up, but uh, it's been our experience that we'll never see that stuff ever again. Uh, basically, this is step by law. And we're here at the... Uh, at the post office building. No, the problem is we don't do drugs. Yeah, that's the problem. That doesn't make the city so I just saw another tar being taken away. So far, the count on the tents, it looks like they've taken four tents. And Mike Lee was not allowed to even get his stuff. Um, he's the gentleman, I don't know if you can see. He's over there with the red hood on. Uh, they're, meanwhile, they're dragging his tent, another tent, that, his tent, that's going in the back of the police or the uh, public works uh, dump truck. There goes our sign. So, when they came this morning, they told us that we had to move over here to the post office property in front of the post office, which is city property. I'm sure the, I'm sure the postal police are going to love this. Uh, we were not given a warning uh, when the police came. Usually they come by and let you know, you know, you got to move. Well, this morning they just came and told everybody they had to leave. So... There you go. Oh, damn. You're already more than halfway uh, there. One person has been arrested, and that would be Mike Zint. That's not a compliment. <laughs> so, damn. Well, he'll be cited for a 148, <laughs> which is a failure to disperse, basically. Oh, look. Look at the way they're power washing that. You know the rain. Oh, they can't wait to get all that stuff up there. Are you kidding? going to be on. Hey, we'll be back. Thank you for wasting water. We'll be back. We're in a drought! We're in a drought! We're in a drought! Power washer. You can see all the stuff that they're putting my on the back fiction, of the tent. My six-year-old daughter really could have used that water to take a shower this morning for our school. I really wish I could get closer. Put it back in the truck. <laughs> 
100 policías por un perro. Hey, Mr. Robert, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for the AV, thanks. So I've been down here uh, camping out as an embedded journalist here uh, with the homeless for about a week and a half now, 10 days. Uh, it's your live streamer, free man, Sullivan. So yeah, right now they're loading people's stuff. They're basically stealing it. It's theft. If you don't move, we're going to take your shit, right? Uh, just typical bully behavior. On, you know, they might be nice and polite and hand you out a homeless flyer, but the behavior is still the behavior nonetheless. Uh, either move your shit, or we're going to arrest you, and then we're going to steal your stuff. Uh, that's bottom line. Wouldn't that be right, officer? You don't have to answer. Uh, it's rhetorical. So, uh, right now we got the uh, city of Berkeley that's taking our stuff. So, uh, I can tell you that each one of those tents are going to cost them a thousand dollars. So our purpose here is that we're going to bleed the city dry. They think that they have lots of money and lots of police. Uh, uh, just a little info about how they got all these police out here. Uh, the reason why police come at five o'clock in the morning is because they're trying to muster up enough officers to come out here. And what they do is they wait for the morning shift. They have the night shift that's just getting off from work, and then they have the morning shift that's coming in. And that way they can get enough police officers to put them out here on the street. So that's, and then the other thing is, the reason why they come out is because it's dark, there's no witnesses, there's no traffic. Uh, basically, they don't want the public to see their acts of police repression, because as we all know, the police love to do things in the dark. And uh, I'm sure with Donald Trump that these cops are really happy, because that means they're going to get a pay boost, and the rest of us poor fuckers are just going to have to smile and take it. Well, uh, this personal, this live streamer, we don't plan on taking it, and we're going to sue the fuck out of these people. We don't care how long it takes, and uh, if I have to personally go on a hunger strike, I will. So you've heard that from me. Oh my God! So here comes somebody with their stuff. That the police, the police were, did help a little bit. Um, if you were actively packing up your stuff, like I was a little bit earlier, um, none of my stuff was removed. Was taken. So, I'm a little excited right now. You know, I just got woken up in the middle of the night by some none too friendly faces. Let me tell you, that's something I do not like looking at when I wake up in the morning. But, you know, it's part and parcel for what homeless people have to suffer on a daily basis here in the city of Berkeley. Supposedly a very liberal city. Uh, we have a mayor, Master Bates, who actually wanted to talk about some bullshit during the city council meeting. Um, without actually having to address the problem of homelessness, you know, because we're not just we're not just a bunch of bums that are out here sitting on the street. Uh, we have a definite political purpose, and to, as to what we're doing, and uh, you know, this is just a another shot in a war that we're going to be fighting. And if we have to fight the Berkeley police, we would. Uh, right now, uh, we will be uh, scheduling a new action in the next couple of days. We're going to keep that under wraps, but. Uh, uh, you know, the police will not be able to get rid of us as easily as they might think, because this means war. No, it's legal in the state of California now. It smells kind of, it smells kind of, uh... Anyway, there's another ten here. <laughs> the biggest one. It looks like that one's going to disappear too. So there went another tent. Huh? Oh, just give me commentary. Our stuff. Yeah. Just leave it here. We're watching it all, though. Yeah. Nobody's going to touch anything. Yeah. Oh, I got a code here. You just fucking watch it. Okay. Okay, well, just put it all in pile here. I'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks, man. All right. I'll take care of it. I'm not trying to get you that much in trouble. Yeah, he won't pass his fist test. Huh? He won't pass his fist test. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to do any of that crap.
I would never take a job where they forced me to take a piss Once test. Once again, folks, we've got a pamphlet with services, addresses, and phone numbers. Anybody interested, please take take a copy. We've got plenty. Yeah, you know it burned down. So uh, all that information you're giving us is bullshit. But anyway, people are still packing up. Right. What for one night? You might as well. No, it's nothing. I'd rather be out here in a tent. Better than what we want, which is just to have a place to camp and be left alone. So yeah, once you get your your stuff out, you're not allowed back. Supposedly. I don't hear Mike anymore, so I know he's in there. I also don't see Sarah, so she's probably in there. Sarah left earlier in the evening. Okay, so there All right, we got another tent. Looks like the there's a pickup truck down there. It's plugged up with a bunch of shit. Uh, you can see where they just snagged everybody's belongings. It, basically, it's theft. Uh, whether they say it's legal or not, it's called theft under color of law. If you're looking for the appropriate legal term. I packed up my stuff as quickly as I could. Wish I had a, wish I had a little heads up. I could have been out here a little quicker, but I managed to get all the stuff together. I don't usually keep too much stuff. Just basically some clothes. Everything else is packed up and ready. No notice. We're not. Uh, didn't get a warning or anything. Um, they came out and uh, they were polite about it this time. I guess uh, when you're going to get sued because of personal injuries. Uh, that tends to temper your behavior a little bit. Hey, Satan, guess what? Hey, what's up? Check out the headlines. BPD to be investigated for the removal and eviction of a protest one week before Thanksgiving. Yep, it's not the individual police officers that we hate, it's the uniform. Take the uniform off. I'll be more than happy to go out to dinner with you. But as long as you got that uniform on, you're agent of the state, and your job is to protect the status quo, the normal capitalist relations, uh, to preserve the flow of business and capitalism, and that is a police officer's function. They might say protect and serve, but ultimately their duty is to protect capitalism. So uh, if you really want to put that to a uh, test, just go on strike for a while and see who comes out to try and break the strike. It will be the police officers. They have a long history of enforcing capitalism in this country. Uh, woe behold, if you're an anarchist or a communist or someone who doesn't believe in this political system, well, then you're illegal. And the status quo here in Berkeley is is that even though they're handing out those flyers, all that information, uh, you do try to call out the telephone number, which I have. Uh, we went down the list. You know, we're not here by accident. Uh, this is not a joke or a game that we're playing here. Uh, we're out here to save people's lives. And uh, uh, Berkeley Police Department has demonstrated exactly about how much your life is worth out here on the streets. Uh, you have no rights. Uh, basically, it's either move or get arrested. Uh, and uh, as in the case down there at Fairview and Adeline, it's either move or get the shit kicked out of you by the cops. So... That's the bottom line. And uh, even though these police officers might appear to be friendly, like officer friendly, uh, they are no doubt will get violent in a hurry. Oh, yeah. So I uh, just thought I'd let you uh, viewers Anything know that. that. triggers their childhood memories if people uh, believe them. I got bullied too, but I chose to fight for what's right and not for what's wrong. But maybe that's just me. Can't say the same for you. I don't know. I assume you were like little. So let me get a think, uh, chance to. I don't know why they picked on you, but. All right, we got a. Let's see, we got three, six, seven, eight, eight people here. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one's almost all the way there. This one's 66. 
All right, we got 181, 66. I can't see. It's kind of dark out here. And I don't know if you can see, but they made everybody pack up their shit and put it on the sidewalk. Hey Mike, how you doing? It was a black <laughs> Any words? Do you think I would be in this? No? Okay. Sorry. That's okay. The roof is on fire. So anyway, so they got my computer. Oh no. Yeah, they got my eight hundred dollar computer. They got my they got on my bed. Well looks like they got my bed also. Yeah, that's my that's um the tent. That's not our main. What is it that we do have left? Uh, we're going to take inventory here in a minute, and then we'll see. Um, guys, i got to put on another jacket, so just give me a second. Oh, the one with the skulls is so appropriate, though. Yeah, I know, but I'm cold. <laughs> I got on two jackets. I can't even talk shit. All right. So let me put on my jacket here real quick, folks. Who do I ask for permission to help these people? Okay, she said that was all set. You don't have to worry. We were rousted out of here. Let's put it by the way. All right. Yeah, she's not feeling well. She got my chair and I can't sit down. There's a jacket over there. Yeah, I'll take inventory in a minute, so. That's the second time you'd accidentally put out my cigarette. Oh, I'm sorry. You got all my sunglasses. Can I use your lighter again? Yeah, yeah, just a second. <laughs> Liberty! When did they you need help with that? Hey, Guy, what's your last right. name? Wow. Silent Guy, what's Which your last name and what badge you number? You officers, you're all placed under citizen's arrest. Violation Officer, please answer me a question. Rights. I have a right to know your last name and your badge That's number. number. He's almost One more there. I told the guy. I told him. I told him. <coughs> hey, you. What's your last name and your badge okay. number? Slide this up a little bit. Please tell me what this guy's last name and his badge number is. He forgot. He forgot. <coughs> He's not even forget shit. He's standing there like a statue, just meditating and waiting. Yeah, this officer right here. And he's been like patience. Oh, yeah, I need a lighter. Oh. Do you, do you not have a visible bag? Can I help you? Here you go. Oh, I can Sorry almost see you. It's Let me come at you. Come on the other side. What the, the police? Uh, look as you can see, we got one gentleman police. that's coming across the street right. in the middle of the screen. He can barely walk. You guys know you're in a war, right? Just, yeah. Are you guys aware that you guys are unwilling soldiers in a war? Genocide. Yeah. You guys are pawns. It's out. sad. Go home to nice and you guys just walk across the board. With right. Uh, a little note. Each like one of these police said. officers represents just about $120,000 a year out of the city budget and uh, no you know the city of uh, Berkeley no needs wants more cops and they'd rather spend money uh, this raid costs about thirty thousand dollars to uh, do and uh, this is money that could be better spent on providing homeless services uh, for the homeless rather than rousting them out and taking them away if you get one phone number it's worth it like right, oh, and none of those numbers white work white that you call. You it's bullshit. Like a That's why they bullied you. Huh? Plenty of copies. No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry they bullied you. Now, you the name in a white face. That sucks. <laughs> Uh, he's got a video K. camera uh, for those of you who can't see in the dark here. You guys, we got the dragon over here. 
He's guarding the castle. Look at his name tag. What's your badge <laughs> number? 39. Or they did this one of the, the people in our guy camp. with the glasses and the dragon breath. I know it's early, right? <laughs> you just woke up too, huh? He's over there with that camera like, man, this is not how I planned. And uh, this building, I, and I don't know if you can see it, the one with the lights on, that's the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center at 2180 Bilbia. How many more hours of this and uh, police showed up at 4 a.m. and without warning. And uh, please, uh, very polite, I must add, in contrast to uh, the arrests and the violence that was at Fairview and Adeline. Yes. Anna. What can I do for you? Oh my goodness. They already dragged Mike off and they took his tent and stuff. So, what are you doing? Are you live streaming this? Yes, I am. You want a statement? Yeah, let's see right here. This is Mike Lee. Yeah. My name is Michael Lee. I'm one of the organizers of the first that came from the homeless. A bunch of at 4.15 this morning, I went up to go get a cup of coffee at Tesla uh, because uh, it's cold out here. And I came back and as I was coming down the street, I was told that we Show me what a police state looks like! This is what a police state looks like! I lost an $800 computer out of my tent because they said it was abandoned really? because I wasn't yeah. in it because I was getting coffee. They gave us no opportunity at all to remove property. It and it uh, looks like Mike Zint's at least in jail and I'm missing about three people. God only knows where they're at. Right now, this morning, we're going to be taking inventory. It's kind of interesting that yesterday we met with the politician, the mayor-elect, uh, Jesse Aragine, and this is the result of that meeting. So obviously, the city is not interested in being reasonable, and uh, <clears throat> so we do what we do, what we do, and they do what they do, but we're not going to stop sort of thing. Um, I'm going to be contacting support people, trying to get, get money to replace tents with. Um, there's a a peace rally of some type or another at 7 o'clock today. It's no wonder that they came down here and raided us because when you're talking about four, or 500 people down here that are aware of this protest, uh, they're of course going to uh, have you know, additional support. Well, this morning I'm going to be telling them about them picking on uh, disabled people and throwing my computer away. There's about $1,000 worth of other, other uh, related material. Uh, it looks like maybe I came up with about six tent and tarps and about uh, four chairs and only uh, maybe at the most four tents. But in complete destruction of property basically kills homeless people out here. We just took one woman in the hospital and Mike's in some jail. And uh, they continually, continually do this sort of thing. So we're, we're uh, making plans right now. We're going to be doing inventory at daylight. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Um, Thank you, everybody who's watching. I had to shut that off for a brief second. Uh, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're down here at the Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center in downtown Berkeley on the corner of Milvia and Austin Way. Uh, police showed up, uh, I'm sure you've heard the story already a couple times now. And we're seated over here at the post office, we were told to leave or be cited and arrested. So uh, that's the bottom line here. Uh, it is kind of chilly out. But it's California, it's not freezing. But uh, yeah, this is how the police kill the homeless. They take and they steal your stuff. And uh, okay. So basically, you're left out in the elements without a sleeping bag, without a tent, without anything to protect yourself. Um, and we've had four people die on the streets of Berkeley in the last month. And we will continue with this protest uh, just because the cops showed up and all that. That uh, This is just another salvo in the battle that we've been fighting with the police now for the last two weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, we very much appreciate your viewership. And, uh, Arlo here? Hi. He's a singer. Anna here? Anna? Yes. No, you're not Anna. She's here.
Music. Music. We can grab your stuff. Hey. Okay, one person to get their stuff back. Well, just take her stuff. Just get her stuff. They yeah, grab the it. stuff. Where's Put it right here. Who's it? Who's Anna? You can just stick that Anna? right here. We'll keep an eye on it. Anna, it's yours. Can I sit down in this chair for a minute? Your other one's over here. Oh, wrong and right now, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the background. There's not much light. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, all those gentlemen in the day glow uh, vests, uh, those are city workers, and everybody else is a cop. Um, I can't give you an exact count on the police, but it looks like about 15 to 20 police officers from the Berkeley Police Department. You know, you guys, eventually you're going to have to get mutual aid to get rid of us. So, uh, because we're in here for the duration. And, uh, you know, you're more than happy to film me as I'm filming you. A uh, big difference, though, is uh, you didn't get my permission. So, anyway, we got this cop standing here. He's videotaping us. I'm sure that him and his buddies will get a good laugh when they get down to the police station. And pointing out people that are crippled, uh, just like Donald Trump uh, does when he talks about people that are disabled. I'm pretty sure that uh, they'll get a good laugh out of it. But uh, quite a few people have lost their belongings this morning. Um, we will be taking inventory of the stuff that's missing. And uh, interestingly enough, they say that you can go and get your belongings back. Uh, but it's been our experience when we're trying to get our stuff returned is that there's no number, no address, and basically it all ends up at the dump. And, uh, you know. I wish I had, if I could go in that truck, I got a big ass blanket. <laughs> We're going to have to call 911 here in a minute. And you got my fucking donut in my sandwich. Yeah, no donuts today. <laughs> I had a yeah. donut and a sandwich in there, but that was my breakfast. And these motherfuckers couple of, took my breakfast. A couple of weeks ago, uh, after they got done beating us up down on Fairview that they showed up with donuts and coffee and we had a big laugh over that uh, we didn't eat the didn't drink the coffee or eat the donuts we just gave them away to other people uh, we're not going to take charity from the police uh, and, and Berkeley one of the most liberal cities in the United States pretty much does absolutely nothing to help the homeless basically I, this is my thought is that uh, since San Francisco spends about 350 million dollars on the homeless they basically uh, the city of Berkeley is just basically foisting their problem off on San Francisco and making San Francisco pay for it because a lot of people will, in our camp, I'm pretty sure, will end up in San Francisco uh, and homeless and broke on the streets of that city. So uh, the police like to play a shell game and uh, the city plays a shell game here in Berkeley with the homeless and they say that they're helping people. Um, there was a shelter here but it burned down and uh, you know we did send people into the Berkeley City Council meeting and you know they're talking about some dumbass shit you know everything but about providing homes for the homeless and uh, we are hoping although I don't place my trust in politicians but we are hoping that the city of Berkeley does something and gets up off their ass because this is a matter of life and death for people out here uh, this is not a game this is not a joke we're talking about people's lives that have been endangered this morning uh, you're watching it here on live stream you're seeing what happens to people here in Berkeley and uh, you know the same way with Black Lives Matter uh, we're out here with cameras and we're gonna let you know what's going on because this can't continue four people have died four homeless people have died here in the city of Berkeley in the last month from exposure to the elements now their conditions you know they might have been drinking or drug use or whatever but the bottom line is is that when you sleep out in the rough that you're endangering your life if you don't have a sleeping bag or a tent, you run a severe risk of hypothermia. And, uh, you know, these police officers, they, they could really give a shit. Uh, you know, they're living out there in Pleasanton. Uh, most of these, oh yeah, interesting note is that most of these police officers don't even live in the city of Berkeley. So, uh, how's that for a what for? Um, police have increasingly become militarized, and what they do is they don't live in the communities that they're, they're sworn to protect, or whatever they're protecting we know that they don't protect anybody except for big business and Wall Street 
but uh, everybody else can go get the finger. But um, at any rate, uh, police do not live in the communities that they're uh, supposed to protect. You know, and that would be a really good, except for uh, what happens if there's an earthquake and the roads are out. And uh, so where are the police, you know, where is the help going to come from those police? Um, in case of natural disaster. If they're all living out in Pleasanton and Novato and all these other places amongst their other cop friends, uh, what's going to happen then, right? Um, you know, we have a state of emergency here with homelessness, right? And these cops, they have no investment with this community. Uh, basically, the only thing they're doing is collecting a paycheck. And it's a great job when you get to push people around and homeless people. Uh, no end to that. Uh, what's her name? Ran off of my lighter. Damn it. No, well, I got another one. Oh. Land on it. Yeah, we're not we're not leaving this area. They can come out all they want. No, they don't. I wasn't asking. They're not allowed. You live in Berkeley? No. You're right. It isn't any of my business because most of the officers in the town. They don't. They live in the community that they serve. You know why you guys are too chicken shit to live in your community? They're scared. Shit, fucking terrorist acts like this. Terrorist! Terrorist! Huh. Terrorist! Yeah, Liberty's pissed. Terrorist! Liberty's yeah! pissed. Oh, well, we were able to save that one tar. Terrorist! They're attacking the homeless! They're wearing badges and guns! They call themselves cops! Hey, thanks. Thanks for up here on Global Occupy News Network. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated there, uh, Northern Mont Guy. And a little quick refresher for those of you who might be joining us. Uh, we're down here at uh, Milvia and Alston Way at the Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center, uh, where we have been ordered by police to move or get arrested. Uh, They're going to cite us with obstruction of, of a police officer's duties. I think it was 148 was the number he quoted me. Uh, one person is under arrest right now for not moving quickly enough. He has asthma, and he's very ill. And uh, he didn't want to move, so they put him in one of the police cars. And uh, so we don't know of his status just of yet. We'll be calling the police department in a little bit to find out. Give us the opportunity to take our stuff. No, they, it's called theft under color of law. There's something very wrong here with what you're doing, people! I can't believe it. Yeah, you know, you should be over there videotaping all the stuff they're taking because it's going to be used as evidence. We will get a copy of that video, by the way. And all that little video that you're taking, we will have a copy of it as well. So. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, police raid in the middle of the night by Berkeley police. Damn hard! You're under oh citizen arrest, arrest, you fascist pig! Again! Again, yes! But that's why I kept everything in the back of my Alright. I'm not gonna lose my laptop. I can take everything else, but not my laptop. Fuck the police! Here's Liberty expressing some of his anger. And another salvo in the battle uh, of police versus homeless. Right. Little, not much to say at this point. Uh, what can you say? You believe what you're doing is right? It's a simple question. Do you believe what you're doing is right? 
enforcing the municipal code? Act, the the municipal constitutional act. Did you know that the municipal code is in violation of the uh, Constitution and Bill of Rights and is therefore invalid uh, by the Supreme Court? Yeah, Learn your law. Educate the, so police force. educate the police force. Any and all laws Christ. that are not in concurrence with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and, uh, are we're invalid here. upon their inception. Any law that is placed into ordinance is not valid no, because the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled so. Does that make sense to you? You're, you're violating our rights, yeah. enforcing an ordinance which is not a law. And, sir, you are inferior to us because we the people, not we the cops. You understand that? So when I tell you you're under citizen's arrest, that means you're to take your badge and your gun and go to the station, leave it there, and not fucking report back to duty until we have a trial. All right, they got another okay another vehicle down there with the lights. It's hard to see. You got a cop in my way, but uh, there's a vehicle with the lights on. That's another city vehicle. Uh, looks like we got most of the people off the site. Uh, we're just going to stay here and just take stock. I'm not personally going anywhere. So. I got more pay. That's what the Germans do. They We had the sidewalk chalk. Well, they, you know, they're chalked and painted. It was beautiful. Uh, but for those of you asking, uh, if you got questions, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, yes, we do have another spot picked out. Uh, yes, we are going to continue with this. Uh, hey, Mike did. We retook the post office. Yeah, this is our spot now. Fuck you. Yeah, take a picture, it lasts longer. Thanks, you Cole. Yeah. I'm really a little extra. Uh, several, uh, many people have had their belongings removed and thrown on the back of a truck. Uh, they say that we can come and retrieve those later, uh, but that's actually a lie uh, because we have tried to uh, retrieve some of our stuff, and uh, we get uh, we get the runaround, uh, typical bureaucratic maneuver. Uh, well, we don't know. Why don't you call that number? So you call that number. Well, we don't know. Call this number uh, over and over again, uh, and meanwhile the stuff's down at the dump. So it's called theft under color of law. Right. I'm not moving my stuff anywhere. Fortunately, the weather is not inclement, or else it could have been really bad. And then we're talking about uh, some people might end up in the hospital. Uh, we're out here fighting for our lives, folks. Uh, we're not just fighting, and not only just for us, but for all the homeless here in Berkeley, and not just here in Berkeley, but all around the United States where there's an ongoing war against homelessness. Uh, better to put the homeless in jail and spend a lot of money on police rather than providing homeless services. Of which there is very, very little here in Berkeley. Uh, basically, if you're homeless, uh, you're, it's either move or become arrested, get arrested. We got a scrum. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, it's over on the left hand side of your screen, uh, the lower left. Uh, that's a scrum of uh, police officers. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to talk here. Uh, yeah. There you go. Sorry, America, this is where our attitudes are at right now. Stick around.
Cut the bridges, they make a very good battery. Anyway, I've been embedded with the homeless here, and I was between places, so I thought I'd come down and cover this story. And that's your live streamer, free man. Oh, that bacon! Goddamn, I'm hungry! So you can pretty much see how many cops that it's taken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, folks. Fuck off. I don't want to have to cite you, have my officer cite you, but you can't be obstructing the sidewalk. Or we're fuck you. We're, cite we're, me. We're moving it right now. If fuck you haven't you, been paying attention, me. we're getting yeah, it out of the you, way. Fuck you. Cite me. Okay. So you need to be actively moving it out of the way. Fuck if you, you cite if me. If you obstruct the, the fuck sidewalk, you, we're cite to me. Cite you. Don't want to have to do that. Cite me. You want my ID? Cite me. Cite me. Which is your stuff, Mr. Lee? Yeah, you want to move that? Me, standing right, right here, cite me. I'm blocking the sidewalk. Go ahead, write it up. Write it up. Write it the fuck up, because you got my $800 computer. You got my stuff that I was claiming. You threw it in the back of the truck. That's I'm that. standing here in the middle That's of the that. sidewalk. So, folks, you need so to move it. You, I've given you a you warning. You're going to be subject to you, citation. Either you you see them? They're moving the it. Up. You either cite me or shut the fuck up. Cite him, please. Thank you. Uh, they're going to cite Mike Lee yeah. for obstruction well, right on the sidewalk. You can cite me for whatever the fuck you want to because you just took all my survival gear. You just took so a we're getting more police harassment here. Property They're the moving trash. this stuff. You cite me, you can do it. Because the you're pissed you off at him for but talking fuck shit. You doesn't off. mean you need to fuck with all us. Fuck off. All of you, fuck off. How about that? You kiss my motherfucking ass. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you can move that. See. Come here. Do you have an idea on it? Yeah, I got an idea on me. Why? Gracias, see. Where's my computer at? It's in the truck. Give him his yep. computer back at and the dump. His ID. It's in the truck. And I was claiming my Clark, and he wouldn't me. give me Don't my Clark. And I'm standing right there, and I'm saying that that's my property. You told, y'all told me to start claiming my shit. You didn't even give me the opportunity to do so. Huh? He's going to cite me for blocking the sidewalk because I'm standing here in the middle of it, among other shit. Why is he blocking the sidewalk? No, you can't see him because this is in America. You can't stand in the middle of the sidewalk. Thank you. You cite me for whoever... No, they just want to keep harassing people. Fuck Bottom off. line. You just took all my survival. Folks, I, yeah, can you I back off? I, I don't want to have to give. I don't have to give citations. I already told Mr. Lee that. I told everybody that. I don't, don't give a fucking stick. Stick it up your ass. Uh, what's up? Do you need some help? No. no. Not, from you, not from you, especially not from you. Thank you. Yeah, attitude. Yeah, police are starting to become confrontational. As you can see. Where does it say the municipal code so I can't be pissed off this morning? Because you stole it. Well, it. Well, it. Well, it. Well, it. Huh? Somebody was standing in front of my tent, <coughs> claiming my tent, and still throwing the fuck There away. we go, thank you. At least I was able to save that tent. Yeah. Old Wimpy Clark, you know, he knows he you can get his stuff together. Wimpy, you're the biggest hero here. Oh, thanks, I love to hear that. <laughs> thank you. Fuck off. So here we go, we got a line, oh, let's see, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, I guess there was more police here than I, I guesstimated. Yeah. Hey, could you do me a f yeah, stick to those in the back. I'll, I'll do me a favor, will you? I gotta sit down at some point. Well, just take my wheelchair, you can, you can move that. Thank you. Yeah, sleeping back here. Ooh, I got it. Don't want to lose the back. Thank you. Fuck off. Fuck off. 
So they write you up? Fuck you, no, they, they don't know what the fuck they're going to do. No, I haven't been mad at anyone. Jim Hines, you fascist fucking Nazi piece of shit, motherfucker! You can suck a dick! I hope you rot in hell! Yeah, try calling up some of those numbers. You're not going to get any response. So police are continually harassing people, it looks like. So have we satisfied your request? Hey? Is it all non obstructing, officer? Nothing to see here, folks. That's right. Fuck off or die. So, basically, if you don't jump fast enough, you get a ticket. That's what's going out here. So, you're live streaming Freeman Sullivan. It's an illegal assembly. Fuck you. It's an order to disperse for the people of Berkeley. Fuck off. This is how the city of Berkeley likes to spend their money. Oh, on cops standing it. around harassing the homeless. So you've seen it for yourself, all the viewers here, internationally and nationally. Thanks for watching. Chad, he's putting his gloves on. Uh oh. Give a fuck, fuck yeah. him in your ear. Your hands are cold. You're Got him pissed off. I can't fucking believe it. I would be too, Mike. I really would. Hello, they touched my laptop. Believe it. It's I war. Know it's Tyler he woke up. He said that's something he said I'm claiming that I'm gonna remove it and he's still fucking it's threw really my shit away. Yeah, I know. Got to shit his ass. Cops beating up on uh, they went his ass people, up women the first and thing children and I disabled. owe that brother a cup of coffee. That brother stood up to the plate. They didn't, they didn't like the first they First they came for the homeless! He started stepping up to the plate. Dirty motherfuckers. I can't believe that shit. You dirty rat bastard. No, they steal your stuff. Because I know, I know what he did. Then when Harley woke up, first thing that Tyler, Tyler's mouth was, is that's my tent, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move it. Then Harley took the motherfucker down and they still took it. I gotta zip up and my jacket here. we're not supposed to have a fucking attitude. Nah, you're supposed to kiss their ass. You're a fucking demon motherfucker, fuck off the top. All of you. The blood, the crits got nothing on You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. You know that, right? Ashamed. You guys all need violent gang members, because that's what you are. Stealing poor people's stuff. You should be ashamed. Shame. 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 You should be ashamed of yourselves. You guys are just willing pawns in this chess game. You guys are soldiers in a war. Did you know that? They call you guys the Gestapo. Is that who you are? And you think we're going to stop. Shame! Shame on you! You right the fucking target this morning, and I'm getting another fucking tent that you can fucking steal. Fuck you. There'll be 500 people down here, and I'm going to be begging for money for a tent. <coughs> yeah, go ahead and get that for evidence, because we're going to subpoena oh, no, for a copy, too. Oh, my God. Fuck off. Suck my stick, you demon bastard. I'm 61 fucking years old. You took my blanket away from me. And that was Mike Lee, uh, former candidate for mayor here in the city of Berkeley. Yeah, I hope it makes you feel good. Motherfucker. People claiming my property for me so much because they knew I was going to get a All right, let's check and see if we got any money on chat. Yeah, motherfuckers threw it away. And this is what you went to the academy for. Hey, thanks a lot there, Northern Mike guy. I appreciate it. Oh, no, let's go kick some homeless people today. Yeah, that's real professionalism. Hope you're fucking proud of it. Make sure you put this on your back. And we're up at the Global Occupy News Network. <laughs> Hide and go seek. I know what your cops do with We will be subpoenaing a copy of that it's video, officer. Us, it's protect you. You edit the damn footage so we look like the bad guys. Hey, Ruby, how you doing? Thanks a lot for watching and being a witness to this basically theft under color of law.
of this what's going on today. I hope it makes all your police officers feel real good about doing your job. I bet you never thought you'd have to sign on for this when you became a police officer. No notification, no nothing. And a tarp and a day pack. Spend three nights on the streets of that city. Come back. All right, we're going to go back over here and look at some of the stuff that we managed to put together. Good. Good. At least tomorrow my stuff's together. Thank you for helping me. So we need one person to stay with the stuff at all times. Okay. Plenty of money for cops, no money for the homeless. So uh, I guess the next step is to show up at Master Bates' house. So we'll have you up, uh, we'll be getting you up a few more mornings this week, I'm sure, officer. Hey, thank you from Connecticut. You like that? Thanks for watching. Oh, wait, no. Don't eat that bacon. Get your food poisoning. You die. Where's the donuts at? Where's my donuts and coffee, you guys? That's for Dutch's Christmas. It's shooting down in West Berkeley. Fucking A. All these motherfuckers down here. Everybody look at him because you know if you see him outside, he's one of them. <laughs> hey, Ray. Folks, I got to let you go for just a second. Uh, my battery is low, so uh, I'm going to arc.